Hi, I'm Donna Lopez and this is ETS, Energetic Transmission Sessions. And this is your March 2017 mid-month energy forecast. Sometimes I'll say a little bit of something before I'm going to begin just tapping right in, but today I'm just getting the hit to go right to the energy forecast. I'm looking at my calendar on my phone. So let's start from the uh, 15th, today is Wednesday the 15th, to uh, Friday the 17th. Let's work with those three days first, beginning today. Um, uh, today I'm seeing, uh, this is Wednesday, so I'm seeing you checking off a lot of to-do things on your uh, things that you want to accomplish, um, take care of. Um, I also am hearing a health activation, so I feel as though there's going to be an upgrade in your health. Um, and, and, it, and you see the <sighs> breathing is like, <sighs> thank you, and releasing and letting it go. And that has to do with also upgrading our health. I feel like there's a lot of smoothing away that's been happening um, in terms of little things that bother us. I want to say on a mental level, like, you know, I don't need that. That's, that's not useful. That's not useful. So I see that we're really being aware of of clearing mental habits and mental patterns that don't serve our whole health. Um, let's look a little deeper here on Thursday, Friday as well. Uh, anybody that's dealing with any little irritations on their path, I feel like Thursday is going to be like a release of that, like got that done, don't need to deal with that person any longer, that situation is resolved, or the situation's resolved because I'm choosing to no longer walk with that issue. Mm -hmm. um, I also see Friday, I know we changed our clocks uh, forward um, last week, but I'm, I'm seeing like uh, a two hour increment here of like trying to adjust to, to time. Um, it's like it's later than, it, than, than it, it, it feels, but it almost feels like it should be two hours earlier. So rather than us feeling like there's one hour ahead, it's like there we're, you know, I, I need to move it back two hours. Mm -hmm. um, I also see that uh, Friday is going to be a good day to be a good steward. Um, I'm seeing like a little um, a Boy Scout baseball cap type. The Boy Scouts wear a little cap, or at least they used to, and it's like being a good Boy Scout, being a good Girl Scout. Um, do, doing your due diligence, helping other people. Mm -hmm. For some of you too, I feel like there may be a business opportunity that's going to come for you. So I want to um, look my best. I want to maybe check myself in the mirror before I step out the door. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's move on to um, the 18th and the 19th, which is Saturday, Sunday. I want to say there's going to be some shifts and changes for some of you, but I feel like when you're making these changes, it's like I don't want anything to change. Like I want everything to be the same. Um, you know how sometimes we think that if we move or change a job, that everything in the world is going to change around us? Uh, but if we keep bringing the same stuff with us or the same... I don't even want to say this is not issues. This would be like wanting to learn something new, but yet I'm bringing all the old tools with me, and you don't need some of the things you're trying to bring with you. Uh, this feels more on a scholarly level. I want to say intellectually what you're trying to perceive in your reality. Um, just uh, There's changes and new understanding that you're wanting, so they're saying just step right into it without having to bring in uh, or make it fit into an old philosophy, an old idea. I also see that uh, 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 Saturday night and into Sunday, it's as though I see people turning off the movie. It's like um, I need to turn off what I've been tuning into or the, um, I want to say the uh, life stage I've been perceiving. It's like time to tr turn that off and, um, and, and really just kind of let this holographic, reality kind of speak to me in a different way. 
you know, we, we watch movies and we get in trained and, and we watch TV and we, you know, I literally will feel everything that's going on, so I have to be very careful about what I do watch, but, um, because I'm such a feeler, but um, they're, they're saying that it, it's almost like closure. I feel like Saturday night is going to bring some sort of a closure, like I've done this, I've learned this, uh, there's a completion, and I don't feel any sort of, uh, um, like, so there, or I'm done, or any kind of that kind of energy. It's more so turning a, the, the page to a new chapter, and a, a new chapter in a new book where I can kind of fan through the pages and I can pick whatever chapter I want to read first, rather than feeling like I need to do my life in a linear way. And, and I, what I'm hearing is whole being, um, being aware of the whole being, body, mind, and spirit. All right. And then let's look at, um, we're going to look at Monday the 20th to the 24th, which is a Friday. So that whole week, I feel like there's going to be some cleansings and some detoxing going on. Um working on yourself, changing your diet, uh, physical exercise, um, like this is the week to get things done, like all the changes and all the shifts you've wanted to make, this is the week to accomplish those things, like really cleansing, clearing, releasing. And then we're going to move into the uh, 25th and the 26th, which is uh, Saturday, Sunday. You know, I'm feeling, uh, I'm actually seeing a thermometer, and I do feel that this is actually temperature-wise. We're going to see temperatures go up a bit. Um, so, so there's something to do with weather patterns and, and a warming that's coming up. I know we're having one here in California right now, but, um, you know, it's uh, I see temperatures rising to around the 80s. So... I know we've been watching weather just shift very quickly all of, all around the planet. Um, I am, and it's funny, as I'm saying that, I'm hearing global news. Um, I'm hearing something about Africa. Uh, there's some global awareness is what I'm hearing, and it is around Africa and that region of the world. Mm -hmm. I also uh, am feeling that... Um, recommitting uh, love or recommitting your connection to a loved one um, in terms of it's almost like a Valentine's Day because I'm seeing a heart so it's like um, doing something special for someone you care for and, and putting some thought into it and I, I want to say too it's almost like I'm seeing a future vision that seeing the future vision of what it is you want that love to be like and if you don't have somebody in your life you will start to um, correct your own heart Balance yourself out so that, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to step out and, and really um, experience somebody else. So let's go from the 27th to the 31st, which is Monday to Friday. I'm hearing confidence, and I'm also hearing change. And I'm also, um, it, along with confidence and change, they're saying you're, you're going to become aware of the armor. Sometimes we put on a suit of armor to kind of protect ourselves in an effort to be confident, um, as though if I come off real strong or like don't mess with me, that um, even if we do it silently, energetically, that we think we need to wear this armor to protect ourselves from outside influences, it's as though we're connecting with, wait a minute, I, I can be confident, but also not be paranoid, um, that I can, I can just be present uh, for whatever it is that wants to, um, for, 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 in other words, too. I'm sorry if I'm going over this three times here. Um, they're saying clearly, your confidence is coming through you. It is not something that you extend out in front of you as though 
although we can extend our field out and, and create our vibration in any way we choose but when the confidence is coming through you very clearly it naturally expands out in a very beautiful way and so they are really wanting you to allow the confidence that comes from the creative force flowing through you that created you specifically to be just you that alone is confidence just trusting that whatever your quirky weirdness whoever you are even if uh, maybe maybe people are threatened by um, uh, maybe they get a feeling of superiority from you when it's not necessarily you uh, presenting that they are simply seeing you in that in that effect and so sometimes we dumb ourselves down or keep ourselves um, I want to say under wraps or cover up our our, our um, our influence in the world and we all do influence our reality and uh, we are co-creative here um, but also just allow that whatever somebody else is perceiving about you that that's with them that also can help make us um, create an armor of um, protection for ourselves because if you're confronted with people other people's reflection of who they perceive you to be their pictures of you we all throw pictures on one another of what we what you're supposed to be to somebody else um, you know allow the confidence to flow through you and expand out and whatever that is it will just kind of be neutralized naturally by that creative force so this is really uh, you opening up and sharing who you are in a more full way Okay, so now I want to look at uh, overall the energy. I want to look at the overall energy um, in the world from the 15th to, I'm sorry, yeah, to the 31st. So let's just look at the global kind of uh, what's going on from the 15th to the 31st. I do hear, and I want to say this more so in the second week, the end of the second week, I'm hearing warmongering. I feel as though there's going to be a great, uh, um, some sort of a superiority complex around that we'll be hearing around warmongering or people being warmongers or that kind of energy. Uh, it's going to be very blatant and um, crap, crass is the word I'm hearing. Um, let me see here. I'm also hearing something about England. Um, not in reference to that. Uh, that's closer to right now. There's something going on with England, uh, the UK. Okay, and I'm hearing Brexit. So there's something to do with uh, the, the, the um, I'm hearing money makers. So there's some, and, and I feel like this is more so having to do with balancing some energy out around uh, uh, um, the dollar there, you know. I'm also hearing something about Ireland, and I'm hearing that coming up closer to um, the 19th, which would be, or over the weekend, 18th, 19th. I feel, I feel good about whatever it is I'm hearing about Ireland. It, I, I'm just seeing all these lush, beautiful green fields and, and almost like an, a, an appeal. Um, like um, it's very appealing. The energy of Ireland is very appealing. Mm -hmm. Just as a country in itself. That's an interesting concept. Perhaps we might hear something about the ecosystem in, in, used in Ireland. Uh, because I'm seeing all this beautiful green fields and feels really beautiful. So there's something about us really appreciating whatever, uh, however they are doing uh, things in their part of the world. I'm also hearing something about Greece, um, and that is closer into next week, which is um, which which would be the week of the 22nd, 24th, right in there. That's that's uh, next week. Um, you know, I'm hearing something about their financial crisis, but I'm also hearing resolved. So I'm seeing some balance coming up there for them as well, too. 
Um, uh, it, later on too, I'm hearing something about stock exchange um, not doing, not having to do with Greece. This is uh, just stock exchange and, and it's global stock exchange. I think we'll hear something about some record highs, but it, that will come closer to um, the end of that week after the 25th. You know, uh, you know, we'll, we'll hear some record highs. Mm -hmm. Now I want to look at um, as as the spiritual sensitives, those that are sensitive to the energy that's on the planet. What we can um, look forward to from the 15th to the 31st on a spiritually uh, on a spiritually sensitive um, level, uh, you know, there's just lots of release. Whatever uh, it's almost as though whatever shadow aspects you've been sensing in the um, in the collective consciousness is just kind of dropping away, dropping away. It's just cleansing. M many of you have stayed very centered through um, a lot of the changes that have come up um, and you will find that as a result of staying centered in, in the light that you hold that um, y a lot of these shadow aspects are falling away uh, for us and on our behalf. I'm also hearing um, about something about health challenges, but I'm also hearing the word empowered. And so whatever these health challenges, challenge, I don't want to use challenges, challenge, uh, I don't feel heaviness around that. I just feel that uh, certain people have um, sensitive, uh, being sensitive, their, their health has been, uh, they have sensed a challenge in their health as a result, but I'm hearing empowered. So there'll be this reinvigoration of, of your personal health. And I'm also seeing that we're um, going to be able to kind of move some things around on a timeline that we have for ourselves almost coming a little bit coming back in full circle a little bit like it really served me to do myself my understanding of the consciousness on the planet the way that I saw fit and things are coming full circle and that uh, feels and I want to say they're going like this <laughs> give yourself a pat on the back for that mm -hmm. let me see if they have anything else from the 15th to the 31st that they want to share Well, I feel like uh, overall I'm seeing people looking out like far reaching, like like I really want to look out and see what it is I want to do and what I want to accomplish. And I, actually, I don't want to use the word accomplish. I feel more so like what do I want to discover? Where do I want to go in this world? What do I want to see? What do I want to experience? And I do see um, closer to the end of the month, uh, unplugging from uh, perhaps where other people have connected into your energy field uh, and maybe pulled on your creativity or, um, or just plugged into your energy and drawn. A, many people are batteries, so we hold space for others so they can be creative. Others are very creative and people tend to throw energy in and, and kind of pull on that energy. So I see some of this energy is being pulled on. In other words, no matter what it is you do in life, uh, as your vocation or, or, or whatever you would um, call your work on this planet, um, in order to work in a really clear way, it's not useful to allow others to plug in and kind of pull on your energy. It's, it's more empowering to hold space for them to stand in their own power. You can share your energy freely, um, but, but it's really useful for them to learn to fish, not for you to just keep fishing for them or for them to wake up and expect, I wonder what fish she'll pick out for us today. Um, and, and so it's like I see you unplugging from people um, needing you. And uh, that's something really interesting to be aware of that um, 
We all want to be loved and we all want to feel needed. So sometimes we can enjoy when people want or seem to need our energy because we feel love from it. But eventually it, it starts to become a condition. And it's you're not in integrity with yourself and they won't be in integrity with themselves. So it's most useful to allow people to stand next to you, not necessarily in your next to you not in you <laughs> I hope that makes sense anyways thank you very much I uh, appreciate your likes your shares and your comments and I'll see you next month namaste